juxtaposition to it because I always would say that and say, you get to choose whether or not you get to go first. He's like, I think I'm going first. <laughs> so we'll see what Joe actually ends up doing. Now he's already looked at his hand, so he will he will be going first. Because you can't just look at your five cards and be like, no, I'll go is, second. He is just like thinking of what to play. Yep. I'm curious about Joe's thoughts on going first versus going second. Oh, excavates the hermit tree. That's a tree that's also a hermit. Oh, oh, that's so good. It's really joeing up the field. Oh, yeah. So his cards that he ex uh, that he's looking at were Lone Fire and I think Komashrumo and another Hermitry. Yeah, that's what I saw, I believe. So that's kind of nutty. It's kind of like a, you know, what's that thing? It's like a gear, a nut. Yep, it's it's all like that. <laughs> the nuts. the whole damn show. I'm just going to start saying I opened the bolts. Okay, I'll say the jewels. So, yeah. Como strumo. Is that a gear Gia? Yep. Gear Gia's. Double Ferrari? I don't know what that is. Gear Gia's? Really? I thought that deck was dead. I thought it was too. So he's just going straight for a Gigan. <coughs> he summoned the armor? Yeah, he's just summoned armor, flipped accelerator, straight into Gigan to search for probably another armor. Nope, it's Arsenal. I wonder how familiar he is with the deck. I haven't seen him, like, at big events since his Nationals win. Well, I haven't seen Joe at big events in quite a while. He, I know he keeps up with him. Watch it. So He topped Philly. He did top Philly because summer vacation. <laughs> yeah. Joe going to school Hansel. <laughs> Give him homework. All right, so fertilize did uh did Gigan just attack? Oh yeah, it killed the killed the Sage Koya. Dirt. But Miracle Fertilizer bringing back the Hermit. Apparently I am funny. Also LMQ beat complexity. Yeah. <laughs> I can see a little bit more of what Joe's hand is so I can know more about what he's thinking about trying to do right now. Soul Charge. That's a good card. Should bring back both Komashrumos and overlay into a so cute boss. So cute. Boss. So cute. Boss. So cute. Boss. <laughs> the things that amuse us sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, hey. That's not so cute, boss. Nope, that is an Aurea. <laughs> that is that thing on the mat. 
about to do some nutty stuff. There are two of the Matt monsters on the field. There are, in fact, both Mega Man and Ho-Oh. Now Joe needs to make Felgran, and somehow Hansel needs to make oh, <laughs> Judgment Dragon. That's what he freak that's what he reveals off of that was rivalry and double goes or double upstart. Good cards. He has not normal summoned yet. He does have the uh What was I just about to say? <laughs> lone fire. That's the one. He does have a lone fire in hand. Hmm. I see Spore in his grave. No, Spore is not in the grave yet. Okay. I don't know what I thought I saw. Spore I thought you saw Spore. Yeah, clearly. But I don't know what I could mistake for Spore. <laughs> the only things he has in his grave should be Sage Koya, a couple Komoshrumos, and now another Hermit Tree. So I wish I'd brought a jacket. It's cold. He in can't here. normal because he fertilized. Apparently. Correct. Okay. Grave. Where is it? Oh, it's on the field. <laughs> <laughs> there it is now. <laughs> I'm not looking. I was looking in the wrong spot. Definitely just missed I it I read chat when he played it. And then I looked at Grave. Guys, I'm, I'm smart. Yeah, I'm. S I know what's up. You know what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? Bounces it. Is that all say or Aurea's effect? I'm not familiar with the exceeds. It's the Aurea's already used its effect and it failed, so it's the. Oh, okay. I'll say. I'll say. Hansel could soul charge and make another gear gigant. Or actually he can make the same one. Yep. <laughs> He's playing. Is he playing Trap Tricks? The gear gear? Yeah. That's what my friend uh didn't top Yukio states with. He's playing Gahat. Are there hands too? Yeah. I definitely saw hands in his hand. He's playing Gat. No, that's that would be artifacts. Yeah. He's playing <laughs> like thought. He's playing <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. So he's still playing the Gear Gianos, even though there's only one Gear Gear Gear. I thought a lot of It was Soul Charge for was that three or four? Three and then he summoned the arsenal. Yeah, that's what I, I think. No, he didn't. That doesn't make any sense because he couldn't summon it in defense mode. But he might just be overlaying with them. I thought he special the. No, yeah, that was four. That has to be four. What's all say in Aurea's defense? All say is 32. 32. And then Aurea. The Sylvan High Arbiter? Mm hmm. 25. Okay. So he's, he can't go Art to take him because they're in defense mode. So he has to. Okay, so he's going to go Diamond Dyer. Oh, okay, so it was 3k because he arsenaled into Giorgiano. Oh, he arsenaled into it. Okay, that explains it. I'll say it's 32. <laughs> I'll say would rather it be a lot more. 
More than 3,200? That, that would be a lot. And then so it can't be arced. No, you can't. He's not low enough in card advantage to Exiton. Cordero here saying hi to everybody. I mean, if he was going to excite on, he would have only soul charged and just made it or whatever. Yeah. I mean, he didn't have low enough card advantage, but. Even if he only soul charged for two? Yeah. Okay. I always say this whenever Joe plays, but he has really long turns. He does. So, Aurea effect. I believe he revealed one Sylvan. One Sylvan and a blaster. And a Mount Sylvania. Yep. Also, for anyone wondering, Paul Clark uh, is out already. That's unfortunate. I believe he went like one two drop. To his gigantic hand walking. Some of the player can. <laughs> Perhaps we need to move it. Mayhaps. And scooping up. Scoop Joe just explaining where game is coming from and then just winning it out there.
Hello, hello. Hello, matey. We all back. Absolutely. Joe taking game one against Hans Oliguero in the Sylvan versus <laughs> matchup. That's one way to say it. So Hansel gets to choose whether he goes first or not. Since he's looking at his hand, I'm going to go on him and say he's going first. So just set one. It's an armor and a spell card, I believe. A spell card? A spell card. I did mm. not believe it was a trap. Might be a soul charge. Just like chilling. Chillaxing. Sylvan Charity, that's a pretty good way to start. I'd say so. So I know that he has a Sylvan Charity, a Komashrumo, a Spore. Curry Bandit. <coughs> Bowden, come to ARG Providence. I'll house you and feed you and give you rides and everything. He will, in fact. And then he'll beg for an ARG main. It's <laughs> be like, come on, guys. Yeah. I've gone everywhere else. Just bring it here. Bring it home. I won't stop tempting you. You can eat at our restaurant every day. You can have lobster rolls for lunch every day if you want. Lobsters are like only a dollar. <laughs> that might be worth it itself. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the flight. I'll make Jim fly you. Wink, wink. What just happened? Oh, uh, that was the excavation from Curry Bandit. So Joe playing effect failure, sliding it in against gears. What do you think of that? The yawn that I just did is not, in fact, my response to that. Oh, I thought it was. <laughs> Dude, that's an armor. But no. This is where effect failure would have been good, because now armor would be in attack mode, and it would have not gotten the search off. And, and it, it couldn't flip back down. Exactly. Couldn't flip down for what? Flip down for what? Oh, man. Kind of want to make an announcement that's just like, if you have scrubbed out of the tournament, would like to commentate, please <laughs> come see Jim. Kalen would like a nap. <laughs> and potentially I, sleep. I sleep too much. Yeah. Dude, I sleep a lot. Like Sleeping at home, good. 12, 13 hours a day, no, no problem. Wake up at 1 a.m. Oh, dude, the combos. Stuff getting real now. It's all lit up. This just got real. We lit. Wapi FL. I think the random sounds in the background are a little more entertaining than our commentary right now. I know. I just
Dude, if Jono comes, he can uh, he can get free lobs rolls too. I believe Joe took the uh, 3,400 damage because I <gasps> imagine the gear guy getting in the uh, armor attack. 35? 34. Oh, 34? 30. What's Gigant's attack? Is it 22 or 23? 23. 3,400 then. 30. 30. Oh. Fizzo. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, it's GG. He doesn't have a lot he can do. I don't know the Sylvan combos too well, so. I don't. That's the unfortunate thing yeah. about not being in the game for. I Several I'm really months. bad with knowing what cards do if I don't own the card. Yeah. I should just go buy Sylvan's right now. You think so? All right, I'm going. Good job shaking your headset around. <laughs> now okay, you can go buy Sylvan's now. <laughs> I already got. I just bought the deck. I'm back. I hope you heard the sound of me uh, dropping the headset and running in, coming back. It was definitely him just taking the headset off and just shaking it around. Shut up, Caitlin. <laughs> I will attack you. <laughs> Like you attack those primal or those uh, shadow specters boxes. <laughs> really grinding my gears. <laughs> you know who else is grinding some gears? Joe right Hansel's now, and they're grinding losing. Grinding Joe's. <laughs> Joe's grind is not being as successful, unfortunately. Good, 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 good grind. He does have a soul charge in hand, so that's something. It's a big something, actually. I like this username, best username of uh, the tournament, probably. All I need is beer and Bowden. <laughs> I like it. Hey, look, it's Philly Luna. Oh, it is. It's that guy. He's playing Light Swarms today. Last time I heard of him, he was playing Black Wings in Dragon Format. Yep, and he got top 16. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he, was play, uh, he went to Nationals. Uh, he played at Nats. Did he play Late Sworn? I think so. Man. What a god. I gave up on Late Sworns after like three weeks. <laughs> I just think he's. I told him he should have played Black Wings. He got. De he got. Uh, whatever the new. Uh, the new. Uh, Black Wing trap card is the one that banishes all uh, attack position. Black monsters. Sonic or whatever. Yeah, Black Sonic. Something like that. Joe. Going ham with the stole charge. For three. Triple. Trip Mons, yo. Or did he go four? No, he summoned that. Uh, he special summoned it somehow. I'm he so couldn't have gone for it because, yeah, he could have. No, Maybe. yeah, he special summoned it. Never mind. Yeah, he summoned it after. Why aren't we featuring Philly Luna? Well, he's kind of walking around, so I don't think we would be featuring him, you know? I mean, I can go grab a camera and just put it on him for a little while. I mean, just we do have extension cables for our USB camera, so I guess that could happen. I'll just pick a random person and just start featuring them, just commentating over their shoulder what they do. Big eye. Big eye is a card. A big guy. The Max C, too strong. Joe's taking the challenge. Joe is taking the Max C challenge. Yeah, I'll start with uh, the big guy, Ryback. That scrap. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Dino Kid 
He's just going. 04. He's just going super ham. I mean, he's already in deep. Why not go deeper? I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> he's trying to deck him out. Yeah, definitely trying to deck him out. I mean, Philly or not Philly? Hansel has like ten cards at least. He has like half. He has like a quarter of the. Oh, deck he's going for hand. the cyber or er, the Chaos Emperor Dragon OTK. You know. <laughs> just fill up the hand and chaos. Dude, that would be crazy dragon. nowadays. <laughs> like that would be so. <laughs> so in maxis. They're like okay. Speaking of the Maxi Challenge, I wonder how Paul Cooper's doing. <laughs> Klaus is so loud. <laughs> I can hear him. Where is he? He's over there at a feature match. I can hear yeah, him picking up the mic. I can hear him. I mic. just couldn't pinpoint him. Dude, he's filling up his hands with more cards. I think he might have to discard at the end of the turn. Probably will unless he Yeah, like, look at all that. He has a lot of traps, though. At the end of the turn. Yeah. Play six spelling traps from my count. <laughs> Chris Burrows over here falling asleep faster than I can. Can we see him on the camera? <laughs> Sometimes we can. Nope. 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 Has Joe's not been bumped yet. Joe's just like, blah, blah, blah. I'm laughing. I'm Joe. Joe just sitting comfortably. Hansel does also have a soul charge. As if he wouldn't after drawing 10 cards. But he does in fact have one. Charge with two. All right, so no attacking this turn. So charge for two, specialty accelerator. Overlay four. Overlay four monsters. Four monsters for uh, oh, what's that? What's that one that uh? I guess there isn't a rank four that does that. Never mind. No, there probably is. Four or more, or two or more monsters. Maybe he'll just make double cowboy. Just double cowboy. <laughs> what would you do against that? Like. You're just like, well, fell grand. All right, <laughs> that happened. But if you made triple cowboy, now that would be a, a sight to behold. There was a deck that I played that spammed rank fours enough that I was just like, you know, I'm tempted to just do three cowboys. But at the same time, I would probably just lose because I wouldn't have all these other options. Nah, just make excite ons every chance you get. Just make four excite decks. And then whenever you activate one of them, all the four, all the rest of them blow up. Then you could just say, "Man, I wasted three hundred dollars." Nah, dude, you gotta know where to get them. Where you can get them for the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, you know. Please don't tell me that you traded a Blue no, Eyes I Ultimate did. Dragon <laughs> for an Excise tonight. No, I entered the sneak preview and I pulled one. And then I sold it. Oh, I know the guy. Joe Soto, big TSM fan. Did uh, LQ win? Oh, yeah. <laughs> of 
I think Joe's like Joe's just played so many Xyz monsters in defense these last two games, like possibly five or six. Yeah, because the all say and Araya were in defense. And then set four still have six in hand. Go. Ken Gorgon's a good card. Oh yeah, definitely here. Very good against uh, everything since it's targeting. <laughs> Charity. Finally decided to send back the Princess, or was that Cherub Sprout or Princess Sprout? I don't know. I don't know the difference. <laughs> Finally sent back one of the Sprouts with a Coma Shroom. It was the one that looks like a princess, I think. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, I think it was Princess Sprout. Okay. Judging from my identification skills of a princess and a cherub. How many rounds are we doing today? Nine? Nine rounds today. So after this, there are four more games. Or is this round six? It's round five. I think it's round five. It's round pretty five. sure it's round five. Yeah. Sometimes I'm just sitting here and I lose track of rounds and time, and then uh, my mind explodes, and then I just become a Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. <laughs> Joe's getting ready to do something. Joe getting we ready. just got ourselves a game. Oh, 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 oh. Lance, it's card. Oh, no. King Gorgon will just use his effect and be like, no, I'm going to negate your big guy instead. Uh-oh. That's probably game. <laughs> what would the damage on that be? That's 450. 450. The breakthrough skill. Jeez, he's got everything. I, I feel like Joe's well, scoop. Joe hasn't summoned yet, and he's got a lone fire. Oh, true. So. I don't know. I think he's just scoop. And he's got the, what's his fate? The spore in the grave. So he can make a seven or an eight. Oh, Max C. <laughs> Another Max C. Are you kidding me? Apparently not. He does, in fact, have two. The tournament just reached the time in the round, but the future match is on a different clock. I believe it's still 40 minutes, but it's on a separate clock. And bottomless. Yeah, he kind of had everything now. Yeah, I would. Uh, there's the chance he might not, I guess. What would the benefit of ending this duel in time be for Joe? Um, not much. <laughs> because the next game would just be five turns. And then go off life, I believe. Because there's no draws. We're yep. not allowed to have draws. 
I don't know what Chris just thumbs up me for. He threw a Tootsie Roll oh, rapper, what? rapper at you. Oh, okay. I don't know, dude. I'm a little zoned out. Joe always has these weird uh, time games. He's a very methodical man. He likes to think. Well, I mean, it's always these games that work out differently because they go to time. Like, yeah, not just like, oh, Joe's in time. Oh, Joe can do this thing. It's just like, that's a very odd situation. Because uh, at Philly, he had to play Ned last round before top. Mm -hmm. And Ned didn't want to draw. Joe wanted to draw. So they had to play it out. But then they ended up drawing because of time. So Joe got what he wanted. <laughs> Like, obviously, Joe would want to win, but. So, is that a scoop? That was probably a scoop. Scoop phase? Foops gaze. Should we make doing network thing, like, go across the bottom? <laughs> Draw, standby, main phase. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think if anything we do for Dueling Network, we need to record the life points using a Dueling Network game. So every time it does it. I mean, if we had, like, some sort of Flash-based program yeah. that did life on XSplit, that would be a possibility. That would be fun. But, uh, I mess up enough that I don't want to do that. Scott Page trying to get the hotel information off of me. You're at the hotel we were at before? The Hilton Garden Inn? The Hilton Garden Inn. What is that? The parking, parking pass? stupid pass for oh, ridiculously expensive parking. How much? For hotel users, it's $16 a day. That's more than... The airport I parked at. Yeah. My airport's twelve dollars a day. It's stupid. Overnight. It's stupid. It's a stupido. I hate parking. Parking is the worst thing ever invented. So, anyways, Joe going ham here. First turn, Hermitry. Does he have a field? Oh, he's Matt. Oh, Just come on. Got <laughs> it like every time. Come on with the Maxis, man. I can't believe this man. At least he's not doing the maxi beat now. Maximum maxi, man. Oh, yeah. If he was, it'd be game over already for Joe. Seriously. We would have been, would, been done like 10 minutes ago. It would have been done like, actually, no. It would probably take just about as long to <laughs> deal with the damage with maxi. <laughs> <laughs> uh. False. The only people who play Infernities are not U.S. players. They're actually chumly double stacks. Chumley double stack. The Ferdy Master. Is is Chumley double stack in the chat right now? Uh, he might be. Or as he's known now, Double Chum Lee Stack. Double Chum Lee Stack. Because someone uh, changed his name and he couldn't change it back on Facebook. Could I change it to like Double Chum Lee Sin? Oh, jeez. <laughs> First turn, Felgrand against the. Uh, Three card maxi, four card. Yeah, that would be three extra cards. From Miracle, maxi. something. Miracle, Princess Sprout, and Felgrin. Three cards. Three, free cards. Well, two free cards, because he used a maxi. Yeah. But he's also gonna draw for turn, which Joe couldn't do. Exactly. So, when you're comparing it to Joe's hand field. Three free cards. And he still only sets that, two in a yeah. monster. I believe this is sudden death. Oh! Decree. Damn! That hurts. It's good for Joe because he just needs to get some damage down then. What's up? What's Hansi for you? Uh, gear and trap tricks. 
All that good stuff. Yep. Ben Leverett here watching the game from over from the computer. We're actually going to get some new blood in here on this chat. <laughs> what up, man? How's it going? It is going. It's going. So we're in game three here. <laughs> Pretty sure they're in time, if not close to time. So, are they going by the same clock as the? Uh, it's a separate clock, but I'm pretty sure they're in time also. Mm. Just because it's been a long time. <laughs> yeah. It's probably going to be important. Yeah. So. Like, I, I think this entire match is in time. But, yeah. Uh, if it's not, then sue me. Yeah. So Hansel max seed for three on yeah. Joe's when Joe went first. Hansel? So he start. Yeah. Hansel. <laughs> but uh. There's no die to show time. The judge no, could we have don't it, have anything. Uh, the judge has a – he keeps track on an app. Mm. Well, he keeps track of time on an app? On a yeah. cellular phone. <laughs> That's what most judges do for feature matches, actually, because it's a separate clock and we don't have a separate clock. Yep. No, no I, I can see that. But, like, you know, like a die to count turns on time. Oh, d oh yeah. I don't know. We should, we should probably do that for live stream, you know. <laughs> Nah. I saw some, like I saw one stream that did uh, uh, they had dice with like numbers on them, and they used it to represent life points. Well, that's a I neat mean, idea. Both Joe and Hanse have dice, so like, th yeah, yeah, one yeah. of them would be pulled out, but they're not. I'll say. Did he soul charge this turn? No, there's been no soul charges. Yeah, no soul charges this time. So. Most likely should have put that in attack position to get more damage in. There's almost no point of not because, like, if his opponent has a hand, Joe would be, you know, losing to a hand regardless. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he could make a, like, you know, he could summon armor and then make a something. Make a something. Make a something. You know how it is. Making make, something's pretty good. Make, like, a, um, what's that card? Uh, Karen Gorgon. Karen Gorgon. Which yeah. I just learned that, that can use more than once per turn. Yeah. Gorg he actually, Gorgon is the reason that he won uh, dual number, or yeah, dual two. Yeah, last game. Why did so he redirect? Huh? It wasn't that he redirected. Is that there was a Felgrand and, the a, there was a, and a big yeah. eye on the field. He's like, oh, we'll just make Karen Gorgon. <laughs> I don't think, I, I, I'm not sure if Joe asked for time before he put the outside in defense position. I would have asked for time. Especially if they're close to time. Absolutely. So, how have you done in the tournament so far today? Um, I'm X1. I ended with two buys, so it's not too much to say. But uh, I lost to uh, Jeff round three. Mm. Then uh, the, won the next two. Yep. His deck uh, was on stream. It Last round. It, it won pretty, pretty like handily. Pretty handedly. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. I, I beat Infernities the next round. Then I. The TG hands this round. Interesting. Yep. The X1 bracket. TG hands. <laughs> <laughs> Were they playing su uh, Supply Squad? Um, no, he was not. I'm not sure how good Supply Squad is in that deck because, like, you know, like they're not. They don't need that much advantage. Like they're playing. I, I guess they want traps, but like. Mm -hmm. You know, drawing monsters for them isn't that good. Yeah, so I guess like, so. I don't know. That card might be good. It's an upstart the turn after you play it, essentially. So, fire hand coming down, mm -hmm. taking out the Felgrand. Oh, oh, this makes sense why he put the outside in defense position. Yeah. So he couldn't um, pop the decree. And Joe was up in life. I still don't think he's asked for time yet. If they're in time, Chris is probably telling them about time. So. Uh, but yeah, I think he usually gives warnings like ten minutes, five minutes, yeah, one minute. So like, I don't know. Uh, well, I guess putting that card in defense position is probably good because like they can't do anything to it, especially yeah. if you have Felgrand to protect it for a turn. Thirty-two hundred. 
butt that just sit on. <laughs> yep. Joe should uh, – it's going to be good if Joe just, like, puts the monster back on top of his deck, so he's just going to keep drawing monsters. The two back row are probably dead. Oh, I guess Zakree. <laughs> yeah. But he just doesn't want his opponent to have another monster on the field for no reason, so he'd probably just bounce it, obviously. <laughs> I think I just saw a soul charge in Joe's hand. Yep, he definitely does. He's had soul charge uh, each of the three games so far. Mm -hmm. He's up a lot of life. Yeah, he, he might decide to use it now. I think it's double soul charge. <laughs> Is it? Yep, that's definitely double soul charge. I mean, two monsters that I can't ever tell what they are. <laughs> so we know that his opponent's so hand Marshall is Leaf monsters. And Princess Sprout, I think. Yeah, Marshall Leaf and Princess Sprout. I'm not sure how long this game has been going on or whatever, but uh, I would... It's been going a while. I, I would start to assume that my opponent had, like, Mermelio and stuff, but there's no point of normal summoning that as opposed to anything else. I'm going to go check on that. Yep. Trevor will be right back. Going to go double check time, life points, all that good nonsense for us. Uh, he, he's going to say it to the judge, and then they're going to think about time. He should just whisper to him, have him whisper back. Mm -hmm. well, it's probably good for Joe, though. It's turn two in time. Turn okay. two in time. So they know that it's in time. We're in turn two. So. His opponent has a lot of monsters in hand. <laughs> and, yeah, Joe is just up. Yep. I'm pretty sure. I think so they're only going to three turns. Mm. Is it? Oh, is there no draws, period? There's no draws at all. Like, not even just, like, I, I know there's no intentional draws. There's no draws, no, period? Yeah. No draws, period. Every game has to have a winner. Jeez. I know. I guess. Have